Well, something arrived today that I've been waiting for for a while. It's a uh, 8 meg RAM expansion for 68K Amiga. It fits in between the uh, CPU and the socket. You just pull the CPU out, stick the RAM expansion in, and then put the CPU back into the RAM expansion. And it's basically a uh, CPLD and the RAM chip is a uh, chip off of a 16 meg SIM. And the guy uh, built them. It's still, the I suspect the firmware is still buggy on it, but I uh, thought it was kind of cool. Something to try and uh, cheap way to try to get some more memory in this thing. A half a meg, you can't run most of the demos won't even hardly run on it so uh, I thought it'd be cool to have something to be able to play around with it a little bit more so I'm gonna pop it in there and put the camera down because it's a little precarious and then uh, I'll run some tests to see you know, if it actually sees it what kind of errors there are if it speeds it up at all or anything like that okay I got it all installed went in pretty easy I noticed on the uh, on a 1000, you gotta be careful of this uh, RF shield here. It's, these jumpers are pretty close to it, so I just put a piece of tape there. Didn't actually touch it, but it's pretty darn close. Um, one thing, see, let me uh, get my kickstart going here. It seems to go into a like a reboot loop. It's uh let's wait for the kickstart to go here. There it goes. It's starting to do its thing. And there's a light that comes on, which I believe is an auto config light. And it comes on and then goes out and then the computer sort of just goes into kind of a reboot loop. This is when I'm running the kickstart disk, so I don't know if it has something to do with the fact that this is on an Amiga 1000, and just just some issue with the kickstart, or if there's actually an issue with the, the board itself. I'm gonna have to look into it a little further. Maybe email the guy, and see if he has any suggestions. When I put the, uh, when I disable the memory, like disable the auto config, everything boots up fine like it's supposed to. So it seems to be something going on there. I don't know if I can, uh, I don't even know what the addresses are, but like maybe somehow manually uh, set it up in Workbench to see if I can get it to work that way. But unfortunately, just as it sits right now, no dice, at least on the 1000, as it just keeps going through and uh, resetting itself. So I guess back to the drawing board on that one. And uh, if anybody has any suggestions, I'm really not too familiar with how memory works, uh, particularly on the Amiga. I'm, never dealt with it a whole lot so uh, if anybody's got any insight you know feel free to comment